Hi there. This is Mariti Russell, publisher of InnerSelf.com. Welcome to the Inner Self audio version of Energetics and Unity. There is nothing separate regardless of appearances. Written and narrated by Lawrence Duchin. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. End quote. Nikola Tesla. Quantum physics has shown us that everything is in vibration and that frequency is the foundation of life. So each of our cells, everything in the natural world, earth itself, and even, quote, inanimate objects carry their own electromagnetic signature. We are electromagnetic beings, which is how tests like EEGs and EKGs work. Energetics are foundational to the manifest world we see, and only one unified field of energy exists with everything vibrating at different levels. There is nothing separate regardless of appearances. Even though we don't, quote, see it because we are seeing through a lens of ego vision, energetics is how everything operates at the most foundational level and affects us in all ways. All of our relationships have their own unique energetics. Certain neighborhoods or other cities may feel bad to us, or we may prefer to live on a large plot of land versus high-density housing. A business has its own energetic. Each of our emotions carries an energetic, and when we describe someone as having bad energy, we are being literal. This is why spiritual teachers talk about raising our vibration. Negativity, anger, resentment, bitterness, unwillingness to forgive, fear. These are all lower vibration emotions that don't feel good. Love, compassion, joy, gratitude. These are higher vibration emotions that make us feel good and we want more of them. The system is rigged in our favor as it directs us to what makes us feel good, such as love and joy. Unfortunately, some people want more than negative and choose to act like a victim, as they believe this brings them attention in a positive way. The universe is agnostic on this. It will bring us what we ask for and what we energize, even if we don't know we are asking for it because it comes from a deeply buried belief. This is Universal Law 101. Everyone actually understands energetics, or rather, they feel the energetics. Some trust this to make decisions much more than others. For instance, we may be talking to someone and they are saying all the right words, but we don't like them for some reason. Something feels off. Trust that. In this case, energetics are much more powerful and how they are trying to deceive us at a surface level by using words. As the coronavirus spread and stringent measures were being taken in the U.S., I had conversations with people who I knew were in fear, even though they were saying things completely counter to this. They said that the virus wasn't real or that precautions were not necessary, but I could feel their fear at an energetic level. When we are in any type of setting, whether this be our relationships, workplaces, or communities, we have to be aware of the energetics of ourselves and others involved. The reason for difficulties or failures goes back to energetics and what is happening at a level beyond appearances or what someone tells us. We have to be aware of how energetics affects decisions in every area of our lives. For instance, we usually elect politicians not because they are well qualified, often they are not, but because they are powerful speakers and they draw us in energetically and tell us what we want to hear and what we want to reinforce at the level of our beliefs, even if it's not the best thing for us and others. This can work for the betterment of humanity or the opposite, as in the case of a Hitler. Thought is just energy formed into a certain pattern. If that thought is energized enough, it manifests as, quote, reality in the world we live in. Most people do not realize that their thought, as it manifests individually and collectively, is this powerful and that they need to be very careful what they energize, what they continue to think about and focus on. This is why continual thoughts of fear can be detrimental, as we are literally creating what could happen. 
Fear is just an energy within us. Thus, it is not, quote, good or, quote, bad. As with all energy, it can be transformed and transmuted into something powerful for our benefit and that of the world. How it, quote, works for us depends on the prism through which we understand and interact with this energy. In his book, The Holographic Universe, which I highly recommend, Michael Talbot frequently refers to the work of David Bohm, who was one of the preeminent quantum physicists of the 20th century. Many quantum physicists believe that the universe is a hologram. In a hologram, each part contains the whole. This aligns with the spiritual traditions that talk about the whole universe and God being in everything, even just a grain of sand. Our beliefs are energized thoughts. If they are fixed and not open to change, as is often the case with many of us who experience traumatic childhoods, we are seeing through a narrow lens and viewing just a small slice of the hologram. We mistake this for reality when reality is the whole hologram, which is far more encompassing and inclusive than we are seeing. If we can release our conditioning, we are much more capable of seeing reality and not living in fear. For instance, Jesus and others who have performed miracles saw a much broader vision of the whole hologram because they were not limited by a narrow set of beliefs. And this allowed them to work with the laws of the universe to create miracles. Science has also shown us that this infinite field of energy in which we exist is relational. For instance, nature has a highly specialized and intelligent way of communicating, like trees on one side of a forest warning trees on the other side about disease. There is an ordered and aware consciousness that underlies all existence, connecting everyone and everything. Like a ripple that is created when you throw a stone into a pond, everything you think, say, and do affects the whole. So with energetics, science has finally proven what many religious mystics and spiritual traditions have told us. When we say God is one, it does not solely mean that there is one God. It means that God is all there exists, and we are part of this oneness. But we see through a narrow, individualized ego lens that makes us believe otherwise. This is the foundational issue where fear is concerned. Main takeaway. If we understand energetics, we understand how everything works behind appearances, and we will see from a much broader perspective that will eliminate fear and allow our life to run smoother. Question. Where are energetics off in your relationships and communities, and how can you change this? This article was read by Lawrence Duchin and excerpted from his book, A Book on Fear, Feeling Safe in a Challenging World. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you.